So Zuma 7 is a phase three randomized study which has compared uh, Axicel, which is a CD19 targeting CAR T therapy, with standard of care uh, immunochemotherapy and autologous stem cell transplant. So current standard of care in second line treatment for transplant eligible patients with relapsed refractory large B cell lymphoma is two to three cycles of salvage chemoimmunotherapy. And for patients who have chemosensitive disease, they go on to have an autologous stem cell transplant as consolidation. So with this strategy, uh, outcomes, generally what we find is around maybe 50% of patients will have a response in chemosensitive disease and a proportion of them will have an autologous stem cell transplant. And around roughly half of patients who have autologous stem cell transplant are cured of their lymphoma. In the ARCHOP era, for especially for patients who are either primary refractory or relapse within less than 12 months of their frontline chemotherapy, outcomes with this strategy have been rather suboptimal. And the overall chances of long-term survival are less than 20% in this group. So in the Zuma 7 study, this approach was compared with uh, CAR T cell therapy using axicaptogen cellulocell. So patients were randomized one is to one between the two arms, and those allocated to the axicel arm went on to receive axicel as the definitive therapy, and patients entered into the standard of care arm received chemoimmunotherapy, and if they had a response, received autologous stem cell transplant. And the results of the study have shown a significant improvement in event-free survival for patients receiving axicel, with the two-year EFS in the axicel arm being around 40%, and in the standard of care arm was around 16%. And similarly, we have seen a significant improvement in progression-free survival, uh, for the axis alarm with 46% EFS at two, PFS at two years compared to around 27% in the standard of care therapy arm. So 94% of patients randomized to axis alarm received axis cell infusion, whereas in the standard of care therapy arm, 50% of patients had a chemosensitive disease and only around 35% of patients actually received an autologous stem cell transplant. Currently, we have interim analysis on overall survival and there is a trend to improvement with Axicel, uh, but this is not reached statistical significance yet. We are waiting for the final uh, overall survival analysis, which will be done in due course of time. So this now represents an important step. It is an important uh, treatment option that is hopefully going to be available for our patients going forward. Uh, we've now heard that uh, Axicel has received FDA approval for a uh, second line indication just over this weekend. So it is good news for our patients.